In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the first, from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift, and he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Matthew, the apostle and evangelist. He was chosen by Jesus to be an apostle, and he lived out his vocation to the fullest. And God gave him the grace to be an effective apostle, to build up the body of Christ. But as we hear in the first reading, St. Paul speaking to the Ephesians, he tells them that, and us that, that God gives all of us different graces. So that's his freedom, that's his creativity, that's his genius, is he gives each of us different graces, different gifts. Why? To build up the body of Christ, to be used to build up the, the church and the kingdom of God on earth. Some are called to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be uh, teachers, and so on. So what, what is your grace? What are, what are your special graces? How and how are you using them to build up the body of Christ? So remember that. So that's something that we need to do is to discern what our vocation is. What are our unique gifts? What are our talents? How can we contribute to building up the body of Christ? Our life is not our own. We're not just here just to live for ourselves, but we're here to build up the church. So that's important for us to discern our gifts. One way to do that is to see what it is that you, you're good at. What are your talents? What are you exceptionally good at? So much better than the other person. And you en enjoy doing this, the, 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 these things. Um, um, you have fun doing it. You, you flourish when you do it. Um, it's a joy for you to do it. And then it benefits the church. It helps people. It helps to build up the body of Christ and, and help them in a supernatural way. So those are the three questions that you should ask yourself to discern your vocation. What is it that you're good at? You enjoy doing it, and it helps to build up the body of Christ. And then live out that vocation. Sometimes you might have to test it and, and, and see, right? So it's... It, uh, Sometimes I see such a waste. Many of us are so gifted with so many things, yet we use those gifts for the wrong reason, to build up our own, um, for our own selfish benefits, or to live for the world, really. Um, but, uh, um, you know, I was talking to a young lady after Mass the other day, and she's working so hard for a bank and creating wealth for people. And uh, um, she's in uh, investment or wealth management. Right? And she's working so hard and she's so gifted, but it seems like it's all a waste, I think, uh, working for the world. And, uh, but it's the, meanwhile, she could be working for the kingdom of God, using her talents, her gifts to build up the church in some way. So I asked her to maybe contact me and I can help her discern how she can contribute to the good of the church. But you too, all of us, we really should remember that we're all given different graces and we don't want to waste those gifts, we don't want to waste those graces, but discern and use them to build up the church, the body of Christ, for the glory of God.